from this crowd and not in a friendly manner. Here is Anthony to get things going. Taking that down, it's been such a tough season for him. LeBron's going to get bottled up, and as usual, runs right through the contact. Incredible strength. Battier remaining defensively on Anthony and Carmelo. As long as Battier is forcing tough shots like that when LeBron gets to the rim again. A week ago, the Knicks reportedly were attempting to trade Felton. It's been an injury hit and a lackluster season for Raymond Felton. Six points now for LeBron James. You have to wonder if, if Felton is going to be able to focus through all this stuff. So many issues to deal with. Carmelo with the jump shot. Well in Portland last year was solid. Here's James. They've actually been scoring the ball pretty well. It's Anthony's proves there. He's on a different team every year, but no matter where he goes, he plays. He's, he's effective, but apparently not effective enough to get a long-term deal. Here's Smith. Anthony with space for three. This is maybe his easiest shot of the night. Beautiful pass thrown by LeBron. Anthony catch and shoot again from downtown. That's why it's so important to push the ball every chance you get against Miami. But you better get back. James takes advantage as the Knicks do not get back. And Bosch each have two involving both Anderson and Chris Bosch as they prepare to face the Indiana Pacers down the road. LeBron is stripped, picked up by Wade. He's stripped by Felton. Anthony, nicely done. And same with J.R. Smith. The numbers aren't big, five points, but four assists. He's done a nice job just moving the ball, generating offense. Nice ball movement there. He's just playing the way he's played the last couple of months since the new year. His numbers off the charts. Hardaway, oh, Allen tried to draw the charge, did not get the call. Anthony with the rebound. Anthony brings it up and scores. Weak rebounding team, but you have to be able to punish them like Indiana does. And off a the rebound, Battier finds the cutting James. You know, Spolster took that timeout because he had one to burn. He said, why not just set up a play? Now, wondering if the face mask had anything to do with uh, that pass getting by LeBron as Anthony is able to knock it down. Did not look a little better transition defense that time. Remember that play in the first half. LeBron got right to the rim at will. Nice pass. That weakness. New York, they shoot a lot of jump shots on their second chance opportunities. Mar uh, Carmelo knocks one down there. Field goals for whoever's open. But the backup has been a starter. <laughs> yeah, it's 24th right. start of the season. Felton got a hand on it. Kept alive, though. James whips it to the corner. Battier for three. Yes. That was not an easy shot because the, the pass was Aaron. Sometimes as a shooter, when you have to chase the ball down, it's tough to get your balance. But Battier did a great job there. J.R. Smith right back. And they've enjoyed the exchanges between Melo and LeBron. James on the drive. And I really wondered before the season started whether he wasn't just going to break down. But the Heat have put together this management program, and it's worked. Oh, LeBron James oh. extending to put it down. Now we're seeing the spacing and the ball movement and the rhythm return to this Heat offense. Eight unanswered points for Miami. And they lead at 72-61. Coming up on four to play. I'm not sure if Miami can bring anybody in to crack the lineup. That counts in the foul. LeBron James put the speed on. Could not be stopped to open up a 17-point lead. But you have to build a wall. He did against the Bulls the other day. He's done it again here tonight. And there's those James off the feed from Cole. <laughs> Never thought I would utter those words. What a game they've got going. James directing traffic. Anderson came over to screen, and LeBron is able to hit. They've had their moments where they've looked pretty good. Great hustle by Anderson. And those moments have usually been with Tyson Chandler making plays or 
Carmelo with the injury as James scores easily. The injury to behind Indiana earlier tonight. Pacers beat Milwaukee. Meanwhile, the next disastrous season continues as they drop to 21 and 37. They've lost four in a row, 10 of their last 12, and they're now five and a half out of that eighth and final playoff spot with 24 games left, 15 of the final 24 on the road. All this plus the Raymond Felton episode, plus all the concern as to the mid future of Carmelo Anthony. It goes on and on. Miami with an overwhelming victory here tonight. Thanks to producer Scott Cockerell, director Renato Law, statistician Paul Evans, Nets and Nuggets next with Kevin Harlan and Reggie Miller, Steve Kerr, David Aldridge, Mark Albert saying.